year of high school, I dressed up and went to this huge party that majority of town went to, and I made out with. Every confessions, bro. I'm getting tired of this, bro. Ain't no wait. He's in chat. He's in chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was Batman. She ain't know it was me. I was Batman. That okay. She ain't know it was you, but did you know it was her? I'm begging. I'm begging. Go ahead and time that out. <laughs> So, first of all, we're doing confessions. Yes, I know y'all wanted this joint back. I was waiting for the right time to do it. First of all, y'all see the drip? Hold on, hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing confessions today, uh, Halloween-related confessions, spooky-related confessions. The confessions that we're about to see are supposed to be, like, really either on Halloween or very, very creepy, you know what I'm saying? But not, like, weird, like some of y'all BBG motherfuckers be doing. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, don't miss the Twitch streams. If you're watching this on YouTube, we be live on Twitch, like, every other day it's literally in the description type shit so make sure you pull up to the stream don't miss this shit let's get uh spooky confessions on the way let's get it by the way w we already know w r w r okay um okay this is from efren he says last time i went trick-or-treating i ate bad candy if you know what i mean you just make sure you made sure to start off this one with a lame ass uh confession i ain't gonna hold you but to be fair though this happens to a lot of us have you ever ate some candy like and it was like it tasted like expired or it wasn't really good like that. It happens like more frequently than not, bro. I'm telling you, if you get a Tootsie Roll, bro, we might as well throw that shit away, bro. Tootsie Rolls is not it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's just, it's just, it's just not it. So, um, Jeffrey Dauber. Now, I haven't had nothing lace, though. Lace is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, after I'm not going to hold you. That, that, that was, that was, you know what I'm saying? That was, it's from Mari. Okay, I got jumped last Halloween because I was dressed as Michael Myers and apparently evil dies tonight and shit. Niggas made the mistake of not knowing I was holding a real knife. In simple words, them niggas is sushi. Yo, y'all New York motherfuckers is really actually a different breed of fucking like... This is why I don't go to New York, bro. <laughs> so I don't go to... It, it GTA, by the way. All in GTA. So I don't go to New York, bro. Y'all always poking somebody, bro. Like y'all have whole dances and cultures based on poking people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is only New York stuff, but I ain't gonna cap to you. Um, there have been times where I've seen Michael Myers costumes, bro. Like, there'd be somebody at their house and, like, they try to scare people using Michael Myers costume. Usually, they get jumped. Usually, they, they get jumped on that. I ain't gonna hold you. If you wear a Michael Myers costume, you try to scare people. Usually, you get jumped on Halloween, but, um, costume, costume. So my, I need, y'all know, I, I finally got my glasses. So, for those of y'all who can't say I, I can't read when I do this bingo boards, eat a fucking Frank. I can't read now. I got my fucking bifocals on. Uh, Twisted Chair says, once I stole two whole bucks, you gotta be in Arkansas, of candy from a please take one house. I'm telling you, I tell y'all this every year, I'm gonna tell y'all this again, bro. Stop putting bowls outside of candy, you know what I'm saying, and expecting motherfuckers not to take the whole bowl. If I see a whole bowl that says take one, I guarantee I'm not taking one, you know what I'm saying? I see motherfuckers take, take two, to take ten. Take take 30. Sometimes you take the whole bowl. You feel me? And then that's really your fault. Now you out of candy, bowl, and your dignity. And, and people going over on your doorbell because you don't got nothing in front no more. So, like, I don't know why people keep doing that. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm not going to capture you. Um, I take the entire bowl. And I, I don't think I've, I've ever taken the entire bowl yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I've taken the entire bowl before. Sometimes they be hiding to catch a nigga. It's like, bro, it's, ne it's never that deep. Like, you making your job harder. If you're going to keep a bowl outside, bro... You might as well just, like, have them ring your doorbell. If you've got to go stalk out them and, and try to look who's going to steal it, you might as well just ring, let them ring your doorbell, bro. I don't think that was a lame-ass confession. I think that was mid. I think that I'm, I, I give that mid, though. I definitely give that mid. I went trick-or-treating with my friend, and we went to this house that gave us hot dogs, chips, and Kool-Aid. Um, bro... Where where do y'all be going that they give y'all hot, uh, hot dogs, chips, and Kool-Aid? Now, now, I have been to a house before where they gave us Capri Sun. You know what I'm saying? I have been to a joint where they gave us Capri Sun. What's the weirdest joint that y'all got from, um from like, candy? Like, your, your haul. Have they given y'all juice, chips? Like, what's the weirdest thing you ever got? Oh, yeah, pretzels. Yo, to the motherfuckers who be giving pretzels out for Halloween, yo, fuck you, respectfully. Like, it's just a couple sentences. Uh... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I was in charge of handing out 
he's okay. Candy one year. I only handed out those spicy cinnamon candies, but Amp 30 fold. Yo, you are a bitch, bro. <laughs> You're an evil ass motherfucker. I'm not going to hold you, bro. Like, realistically, if I found out who did that, bro, I ain't going to lie. You got to handle them. Either on Halloween or, or, or after Halloween, you got to really handle them. Yo, that's, so, that's, that's actually like... You you just you just not a good person for that. You know what I'm saying? I was not letting them, those kids get my chocolate. I'm already allergic to almost all of it. I had to get my candy. Wow. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. You're evil as hell, bro. Like you, how? What if somebody did that to you, bro? Dead ass serious. What if somebody really did that to you? That wouldn't be nice, would it be? That's fucked up, gang. Fuck you doing that shit for? I would never do that to you. Uh, one time on Halloween, there was some white people at my local park, which was a rare sight. They had candy and stuff for all the little kids. It sounds like a, a EDP setup if I've ever heard one. So I was like eight at the time and shit. I so happened to... I so happened to shit myself while I was there. And mind you... My house was a little bit away from the park. So while I was waiting on my mom, I just ended up sitting or okay, sitting on a swing with shit in in my pants and ended up walking home. Bro, how old were you when this happened? That's that's ridiculous. You that's embarrassing as hell. We like that's not Come on, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, if you're above the age of four and you shot yourself, bro, you was just, I don't know what type of hand you were dealt with if you took a laxative prior to it, bro, but you just, you was just on straight bullshittery, literally, quite literally, you was on straight bullshittery. Long ass confession, I'll give that, i give that to y'all. A uh, long ass confession. Um, Let me see, can we get anything else? He said eight. Oh, he was eight. Okay, yeah, that's ridiculous, and that's that's horrible. That's horrible. I'm saying this dude, wait, check right quick um, I, I, you know what I'm saying I ain't get I ain't get my hair cut you I can't do that right now I can't do that right now um very ridiculous made unk laugh yeah I did laugh I can't even I can't even deny that I did laugh um man I know which one y'all want I can't give it to y'all though I can't give it to y'all though that, I think that's sick so that's a no I said I'm on Halloween I went trick-or-treating one of the houses I went to had an old man in it Bro. Come on, bro. That, come on, that, come on. We, me, and you both know that this did not happen. Me and you both know that this did not happen, bro. Like, let's keep it. I don't even know what we really gave by lying here. But me and you both know that this did not happen. So we're going to go ahead and give that a cap. We're going to go ahead and give that a cap. But under the pretense that it is, that it did happen, it definitely, definitely is uh, nasty. Nasty. Cooper the God says, I'm not going to hold you. I was doing the dirty on Halloween, right? I heard some random noises, like something falling down. I get up and check out the hallway, and I don't see nothing. So I go back and just hop on my computer. Same name again. So I check, and I don't see nothing. So now I'm lost and scared a little bit. And I searched the whole house and found the reason for the crash. Not only did my, oh, wow. Oh, wow. R.I.P. Uh, in GTA. Uh, uh, okay. Um, that's, that's tough. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Somebody said R.I.P. Doggy Style. Yo, no way. No way. That took a turn for I did not think I did not think it was gonna go there. I'm not gonna hold you. I did not think it was about to go right there. Confession. This is my Halloween confession. So on um Halloween, a couple years, I think I was in middle school. I think it was seventh grade. I it had to be seventh grade or maybe eighth. Um I was in middle school and I uh had I was getting Halloween candy. That was probably one of the last years I was trick or treating. I was getting Halloween candy and stuff like that. Walking around my friend's neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? I was walking with my friends. We was old, like we was one of the motherfuckers that was too old to be trick or treating, but we still was doing it. I think we was like 15 or something. So we was going to go get uh candy and everything like that, bro. And then I had a plastic bag, just for a warning. 
never use a plastic bag to hold your candy, bro. Because if you get a lot of candy, that joint's not going to hold up. So I had a plastic, like, Safeway bag or something, bro. And then after a certain point, I'm walking in the street, and then everything just 15 and 7th grade, I, I don't remember, but I was, I knew, I know I was in the 7th or 8th grade. No, I think it was the 8th grade. But in the middle of the street, I'm walking, and all the candy just falls out, bro. Like, the candy, the bag just rips, the candy just falls out. And all the children from around us, like all the, the young children, run towards me and just take the candy, bro. And there was nothing I could do about it, bro. There's nothing. Oh, 13 and 14? Okay. There was nothing I could do about it. They all ran into the street where my candy head fell. They all took it. And I tried to scrap for as much candy as I can. But what am I going to do? Scrap scrap a seven-year-old? What am I What am I going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? Start kicking. There was nothing. Bro, there was like at least eight of them, bro. Eight, bro, from all different directions. One was coming from the left, one was coming from the right, one was coming from the front, one was coming from the bike. You know what I'm saying? It was really, they really hit a lick on me. That year, I didn't even get no, and that was the year where um, I was trick-or-treating and my mom wouldn't take my candy because for like, for like my entire life, my mom always took my candy on Halloween, but I know that year she wasn't going to take my candy because I would have hit it really uh, nice, but there was no candy to be found because I had no bag. So, no, stuff like that happens. Get back. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, I um, mean, oh my God, yo, Halloween is crazy. I'm not going to capture you. Uh, this was in Halloween 2016, but I walk into a public bathroom seeing an old ass. Uh, all right. What am I looking at here though? Okay, so, well, we got a couple things that we could do here. Uh, imagine seeing that though. That would be, that would be, cr that's a crazy thing to see, like, what, I don't think is illegal. Um, yeah. That was just, I don't even know what to say about, the, oh, L Speller, L Speller, L Speller. Did we, did we, L Speller, L Speller. Um, not really spooky, but Halloween theme. So, basically, in English, they, for some reason, gave us knives in class. And this one kid I knew had held it up to a kid's neck and said, you're going to get, you're going to. That is the most unintimidating as like, like threat in the world. You're going to get it one day, little man. And basically some other random bitch started crying. So bro got expelled and also had like 45 Saturday schools in the first month of school. Is that cap? Chat? Is that cap? Is that is that cap? I mean, sometimes it just, it just in schools it get crazy. I don't know. Does that sound like it's cap chat? Does that sound like it's cap chat? Cap, cap, cap. It never happens. Cap. All right. Majority of chat saying that's cap. Majority of chat saying that's cap. It's crazy. I think we took away school related though. So I mean, you can't get that. You can't get that. W school. Cap, 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 cap. Average British. <laughs> Yo, you know, speaking of British, I saw two motherfuckers. In GTA, fighting on the train with knives, they were sword fighting. And I saw it was a British train. Like, I saw a video on Twitter. They were really sword fighting. Like, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's really not a fucking joke, bro. Like, it's, it's, that, that is serious. That's actually insane, my nigga. I'm not gonna catch you. All right. Q Boston says, This one time on Halloween, me and my dad went to a haunted house. In the rich people area, they had those big buckets... Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've always wanted to go to like one of them areas with the big ass houses, like not like the the houses that are big, like the big ass houses. You know, like in like one neighborhood, there will always be that one big ass mansion type house. I always want to go to them because they got the the some. I know some people be giving out full size chocolate bars, and to be honest, if you're one of them people who give out full size chocolate bars, you're honestly a blessing to this community. And you're also you're 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 a W man. I ain't gonna cap. Very W man. I don't think I've ever gotten a full size candy bar. Anywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere. I'm not going to catch you. Um, but what he said, uh, rich people areas, they had so, they had those big buckets of good candy. So I went in and one of them clowns broke through the floor. I shit myself so much. We had to go. <laughs> nah, you definitely fell for that shit. I'm going to cap. Like, you definitely fell for it. Speaking of, speaking of clowns, y'all remember that clown shit that happened in 2016, bro? When all the clowns were just like popping up. Motherfuckers was really scared to go outside. You know what I'm saying? It was it was around October and shit. Like, motherfuckers was really scared to go outside back then. You know what I'm saying? Clowns were just spawning again. I never saw 
one in real life with like one of them killer clowns who would just be standing i never saw him in real life but i was definitely scared i ain't gonna count the best 64 says my ex has been leaking my mom's number and using it to blackmail me so if i mess with her or anyone she texts my mom the reason she's so mad is because I made fun of her boyfriend who's 16 and racist and she's 13. <sighs> Holy shit, bro. Holy shit. Yeah, we got some, so we got some avid bullshittery that we about to partake in here. This is fucking crazy, bro. Um, well, I'm from last time in the same girl who had nine exes. Okay, happened, where you're actually you're a actually a fucking dumbass, first of all. If you knew she's got bro. nine exes, why did you get with her? If you knew she had nine exes, bro, why did why did you get with her? Like, obviously she for she's for the streets, you know what I'm saying? And you definitely like definitely fell for it for whatever reason. But like personally, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta handle that. You know what I'm saying? Now how you handle it is completely up to you, but I wouldn't let my ex leak my mother's number without no consequences in GTA, you feel me? Like um, you gotta go handle that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't. Nine evil exes? Are you talking about, uh, uh Scott, Scott Pilgrim? <laughs> you talking about Scott Pilgrim? Yo, see ya. Uh, BBG Dreamer with a gifted sub. Yo, Dreamer, shout out to you. How you feeling? How you feeling? All right. This confession is actually, I feel like this one is a good confession. This is a W confession to me. And, um. Uh, Holy shit, nigga. Are you writing a declaration of fucking independence, bro? Are, are, are you writing a fucking 10-page essay MLA format? Times New Roman font 12? Double space? Four gray? APA format? With the rubric on it? Dead ass serious? Dog. I don't know. Oh my holy shit, bro. Y'all will write this on here, but y'all won't turn in your essays. It's a crazy world we live in. God damn, bro. What a big movie script. Bro just wrote the, the, the amendments. God damn. Like, all right, bro. Tee up real quick. Let me see some. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this. Yo, I'm I don't know why he thought I was gonna read this, bro. I read it out of easy if you apologize to why That's why we have Google Translate, bro. I don't gotta apologize to nobody for nothing, nigga. Um, let me see. Jesus Christ. Somebody say he wrote a Bible scripture. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Yo, English, bro. English, English, English. All right. So when I was in eighth or ninth grade, I went to a friend's house for a Halloween party. After a while, a few of my friends wanted to go visit another friend who couldn't go to the party. Okay. So we walked over to the person's house and talked to them for a bit and took a few pics as a group. Okay. After that we went back to where the party was. But, on our way back to the house, one of my friends heard that there were some kids our age in the area acting sketchy. Okay. As we turn onto the street of the party house a few of my friends decided to cross the street. Dividing the group with me staying on the sidewalk. Okay, as we well. Let's pause it right there. Um, y'all are not the, the smartest individuals. The, the rule one of being in any scary situation or like, like usually you're not supposed to go split up at all, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, y'all are killing me. Niggas say he, he wrote, he wrote Roman law. <laughs> White activity. So this is definitely some, this is definitely something you only see some, 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 some at, at a caucus mountain party. You feel me? Uh, why would y'all like, why would y'all do that? Okay. We can continue. Let's continue. As we got closer to the house, a car drove by and a few, loud gunshot-like sounds rang through the street. My friends that had crossed the street froze in shock before one of my friends screamed. The fuck? I stopped my friends that were ahead of me. They couldn't see cause they had those big inflatable- Alright, another thing. How did you freeze of shock? Just run, bro! Just, just, just run! Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. If I hear a gunshot, bro, I'm not gonna catch you. I, the amount, like, you gonna think I was on, you would think I was Usain Bolt, how I'm about to run that 400 very quickly, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not like I'm, I'm, I'm just the fastest motherfucker on the world. I'm not Sonic, but like, you know, a motherfucker like me, I hear gunshots, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't gotta, you ask questions later. Run first, ask questions later, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, continue. I stopped my friends that were ahead of me. They couldn't see cause they had those big inflatable costumes and told them to stay behind a parked car in front of them. At the same time, 
The car Arre. that drove by stopped and people started to get out. I knew one of the people that got out and he said hi and to not worry. Everybody then ran into the house and they got back in their car and drove off. I walked at a slow pace there as I was still trying to process what had happened. Soon after the police were called and arrived at the house, apparently they had caught the kids. The feds told us that the kids were just trying to scare people and that they didn't have any real weapons on them. Although no one was hurt, that shit was still kind of scary. Okay, well that was an interesting story. However, I want you to know that you could have wrote this in like four or five sentences of max. Like, you didn't have to write this, 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 I have a dream speech. You could have wrote this during like four or five sentences, like five sentences max. This is what he could have said. I was at a Halloween party. Um, I, me and my friends heard some shit outside. We split up. We heard something that sounded like gunshots. I froze a little bit. Turns out it wasn't actually gunshots. It was just some, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers trying to play a stupid prank. Uh, and then the police got involved and then he told us what it was, period. Like, motherfucker, paraphrase, please. <laughs> Par paraphrase, please, bro. Mark Twain. <laughs> oh my God, bro. You have to have an A in English, bro. You have to have an A in English. There's no way. There's... <laughs> There's no way, bro. How many words was that? Hold on. I just want to see how many words was that in total? Motherfucker word 1,500 words? 1,500 words? Dog. 1,500 words. Bro, okay. It, this, this is actually quite literally ridiculous. This is, like, this is quite literally ridiculous, bro. Just like me. Bro. Red by says... By the way, the meat munching is crazy, by the way. Meat munching is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, well, one time we was trick-or-treating. I'm pretty sure this was like three years ago. Me and my friends showed off our costumes and shit, but my friend was wearing an apple costume, lame-ass costume, by the way. Dead ass, don't ask me why. And was making fruit puns. To the point where my other friend just punched the fuck out of him. And he was laying there on the ground like a family guy character. Like, bro was annoyed. Yo, to be honest, he he, he definitely deserved it. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie to you. He definitely deserved it. Cause that's a just Apple costume making fruit puns, bro. That like you kind of just deserve to to get jumped, bro. Like you you need a free coupon to get jumped, bro. Just to teach you a lesson in GTA, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, cringe. Nah, I, 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 that's definitely some cringe shit. I ain't gonna lie. Um, we also want to give it mid. That was mid confession. That was mid. Fruit puns is crazy. Like that shit. I don't know what universe that he exists in where that's just supposed to be funny, but that's not about to cut it. That's not about to cut it. Bro, looking selfies. That nigga red buys too fucking old for this. That shit. Hold on. Let me see selfies. Let me check. That's crazy. That is indeed crazy. Selfies, selfies, selfies. Uh, let me see what bros look like. Yeah, there's some very interesting characters in the, in the selfie section, bro. Some very, very interesting characters, bro. Uh, 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 okay, who, first of all, yeah, this is why I don't check in here, my nigga. This is why, this first, this is why a prime reason why I do not check in here, bro. What, who, who is, who is, who is this? <laughs> who, who is, who, who is this, bro? <laughs> this nigga don't look like an actual... <laughs> You just don't look like a real photo, bro. Like, this don't. Is that you, right? You just see any dark skin person and just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, who is this? <laughs> bro, like, come on, bro. Uh, anyway, let, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Um, next one. Next one. All right. Um, I don't know what number we're on, by the way. But Unknown College says, it was during my senior year and me and my friends got followed by three guys in clown masks. And we ended up running four blocks to get away from them, only for us to run into them an hour later. And we had to hide in my ex-girlfriend's house because we were scared as hell. Yo, people do too much on Halloween. Like, I understand motherfuckers trying to be scary and shit, but people do way too much. Because I ain't gonna lie, not to sound tough or nothing, but if I'm in a group with my friends, unless they had knives. If they have knives, then I understand. You know what I'm saying? But unless we, they, like, if it's like three clowns and I'm in a group with six of my friends, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Them clowns... Six against three, bro. The the odds don't lie, bro. The odds don't lie, bro. Them clown, he gonna have to do a little bit more than have them clown costumes, bro. Six 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 v three. I don't think he with them odds. I'm not gonna catch you. Uh, eight oh eight says a random motherfucker gave me a bag with four pieces of bread. I was pissed and yo, 
But I promise you, somebody give me a Please piece of the four. If they give me four pieces of bread to get roundhouse kick, that ass Christ, serious, bro. No funny shit, no joke, not ha ha funny. Somebody give you four pieces of whole wheat, whole grain, even white bread. They just don't respect you as a person, bro. And they don't respect the, the nature of Halloween in general, bro. So I definitely would just roundhouse kick them for the one time in GTA. No funny shit. No funny shit. L candy, there is no candy. Y'all can't say L candy. There is no candy. What are y'all? What are y'all talking about? Y'all reaching, bro. Hello, can you hear me? Mari. Okay, so let's think about this uh, scientifically, all right? Bread has sugar in it, right? Yes, Mari. And bread could be cooked in a form where it can harden, like candy. Okay. Oh, so with that understanding, okay. if you stop being a lame-ass narc and just no. give them niggas the points. No, no. So, give me this idiotic stop. No. Thank you, no. Fugitive. Thank Get you. Get out of here. All right. Fuck. No. No. We're not going to give it that. You know what else has sugar? Fucking everything, nigga. No. No. That's no for bingo. It's no. William says, I gave a bunch of trick-or-treaters edible. There was this one year that I had eaten gummy worms, and I swore it was weed gummies, bro. And this was when I was, like, 15, bro. You're, you know that's, like, that's highly... That's illegal. That's definitely illegal as shit, bro. That's definitely illegal as hell. You, you, you definitely, definitely, definitely can go to jail for like five to ten years off that. I'm not gonna hold you. That's definitely some some jail time. I'm not gonna cap to you. Mini says contact. I refuse to tie my shoes. All right, off rip. Hold on. Where where's that at? Where's NPC at? Where's bot? Where's NPC? Yeah, what's wrong with you, nigga? Um, context. I refuse to tie my shoes. I was walking down the street by myself like two weeks ago. While I was walking, I shit you not, you can choose whether or not to believe me. A big ass clown pulled up on me. I started running the other way, but I tripped on my shoelaces and fell. Deserved, by the way, highly deserved. Pretty you, you definitely deserved that. I'm not gonna catch you. I got back up and told, and the guy told me he was a paid actor, and I still got the picture. I took with him. Bro. The hardest part of the story to believe is the fact that you don't fuck, fucking tie your shoes, bro. That's the hardest thing to believe, bro. That is the hardest part of this story to believe, bro. I'm not gonna catch you. He needs some Velcro, Velcro sketchers. You mean the uh, the Z straps? You know, he definitely needs some Z straps. I ain't gonna, or some fucking sandals or something, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The cringe, nah. Nah, I, I just really just don't believe this shit, my nigga. Like, where, where's the photo at? Where is where is the photo at, bro? And was it this even on Halloween? Is just a random clown just randomly started chasing you and just said, "Oh nah, I'm an actor." Yeah, like I I, I just act, bro. That's, I was chasing you, bro. But I'm just I'm just an actor. I'm a grown ass man. And I'm chasing you, and I'm I just act. That's why I was doing all this, like nigga. I for the life of me cannot believe. That you don't tie your shoes, my nigga. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's ridiculous as hell. I'm not going to catch you. Off that, you just not BBG. You feel me? Flaming punch. Y'all need cringe to win. So let's see. Uh, this is... Okay. It might not be cringy. He's just talking right now. He's just talking right now. This is more cringy than crazy. I'll be the judge of that. At school during Halloween, I dressed up... <laughs> I dressed up... <laughs> yeah. I dressed up as a dark forager for... <laughs> All right, bro. That's all I need to see right there. That's that's all we really need to see right there. I go cat to to right there. At school during Halloween, I dressed up as the dark Voyager from Fortnite. I was doing Fortnite emotes throughout the day, and a bunch of older kids would call me the dark Voyager for the rest of the school year, even beyond that. I regretted ever. I could have told you that, bro. I could I could have told you that, bro. Like I participated in a mugging. Everyone besides me and the dude were arrested. I'm assuming it was on Halloween, but mugging people out of candy is actually crazy. But I'm, I'm like, if he talking, but he didn't say candy, he just said mugging. And what's with this word mugging? Are y'all niggas from like New Manchester or fucking Massachusetts, nigga? Why don't you tell you I, I took, I robbed in GTA, of course, in GTA. But I just feel like this. Why y'all niggas say mug? Like, what what is this this this, this mugging shit? Y'all niggas living in the in the UK, my nigga. Uh, Eight Gates Gargano says my freshman year. Of high school, I dressed up and went to this huge party that majority of town went to, and I made out with. Oh, it's one of y'all weird motherfuckers on it. 
every confessions, bro. I'm getting tired of this, bro. It's one of y'all on every confessions who just persist and, and continue to be fucking weird, bro. Always, bro. Like, it doesn't... It, 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 it's actually getting ridiculous. It's getting to the point of no return now, bro. To be honest, and which some of y'all, I don't know if y'all be joking, bro. Some of y'all actually take y'all very seriously, bro, because I know some of y'all are actually very weird. Based on a true story, Sweet Home Alabama, not BBG. Now, we already clicked not BBG, but bro is specifically not BBG, bro. There's never a time where I've been, like, hanging out with my cousin, and I'm like, yo, my cousin kind of look good. Like, I don't know how you can have that thought, bro. Like, a sibling or a cousin, bro, in my head... They cannot look attractive to me, bro. Like, if you find your sibling or your cousin attractive, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of odd, bro. Ain't no wait, he's in chat. He's in chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was Batman. She ain't know it was me. I was Batman. That okay, she ain't know it was you, but did you know it was her? I'm pleading. I'm pleading. I'm begging. I'm begging. Go ahead and time that nigga out. Go ahead and time him out. Go ahead and time him out. Go ahead and time him out. 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 For as long as possible. Time him out for as long as possible. Don't ban him, but time him out for as, as long as possible. A million seconds, preferably. Time him out for as long as possible. Uh, Jesus Christ, nigga. <laughs> this, yo, this nigga's getting jumped by the mods right now. Yo, this nigga is getting jumped by the mods right now. In GTA, yo, this... Yo, he is getting... <laughs> Yo, the mods are collectively jumping this nigga. Uh, I'm not reading this, so let me go have Google Translate do it for me. All right. What are we saying? My teacher asked the class today, what do you want to be when you grow up? Grinning, I announced, I'm going to be the next pirate king and find the one piece. My school bullies threw trash at me and laughed. I growled. Okay, so what about you guys? One smirked, I'm finna join the NBA. The lights started flickering, I was leaning in close to his ear. Oh, that's so? Let's see how you handle these balls. Registered, I plopped my ball sack on top of his head, crushing his skull. I had everyone in the Shut room the kiss my Shut the fuck up, next. bro. Shut up, nigga. Okay, okay, cat, cringe, all that. That shit, I'm not gonna hold you. You said... If, the teacher asked us what we want to be, and he said, I want to be the next Pirate King. I would have threw a trash can at your bitch ass. I ain't going to cap you. Uh, cap, not BBG. Cringe. What the fuck? Uh, I did laugh, so it's just like, bro. I would have thrown through the whole trash can at your bitch ass. I'm not going to cap you. One time, I scared someone so badly, won't say the name, I sent them to the hospital for a minor, a minor heart attack. They are... Nigga, a minor heart attack? They had, they were, it, okay, hold on. Is that a thing? Minor heart attacks are a thing? Minor heart Minor to severe concussion? Nigga, there is no such thing called a minor heart attack. There's a mild heart attack. There's nothing called a minor heart attack. I be having them shit sometimes. Are you talking about the, when you when you be grabbing your chest, but it's not actually a heart attack, but you feel like you, your your heart acting crazy? I mean, niggas be going through that sometimes. Like is that it's called going into shock, my nigga. That's not called a minor heart attack. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's called going into shock, bro. But uh, I sent them to the hospital for a minor heart attack. They were okay. This happened 45 years ago. I see. Um, well, I mean. I, I I don't think y'all can get nothing for this. The nigga just wanted to say some bullshit, but added a, a a scary figure to to fit the theme of what we talking about. Yo, eat a Frank, bro. Eat like dead ass, bro. Like, but hey, that was W Confessions, man. You know what I'm saying? W Halloween Confessions. This video should be coming out on the 31st. So that was a fucking lie. Uh, comment down below what y'all did for Halloween. If you trick or treated, if you went to a party, if you did nothing. Lame ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let us know. Uh, I BBG. All right. like I'm devil heaven. Hold up, triple deuces. Hold up, we said we got all the juices. Hold up, speak to heaven. Eat that by my mama, I think they made it. Me by the GLEs, I want by. My dad, I see that guy.